Hey, welcome to News Round, guys. I'm Leah. And I'm Ricky. It's Friday. Here's what we've got coming up for you on tonight's show. I'm at the premiere of the brand new Doctor Who. And meet the first monkey of its kind to be born in a zoo. Our top story today, Doctor Who is back, but this time he looks a little bit different. The new Time Lord, Matt Smith, hit the red carpet for the world premiere of the new series in Cardiff last night. The new 13-part series will hit our TV screens at Easter, but Hayley was there for us last night to bring us all the latest gossip. Check out for this. Well, guys, the time is now when the Doctor himself is arriving back on this planet. In fact, he's coming here to Cardiff to open the celebrity premiere of the first episode of the new series of Doctor Who. The 11th hour is due out on our tellies around Easter time, and in it we will see the 11th Doctor, played by new actor Matt Smith. It is thrilling. It is everything you would hope it to be. It's mad and adventurous and, uh, you know, it's a real challenge, but I get to go and play around on the TARDIS every day. I couldn't ask for more. The new Doctor Who sees not only a new Time Lord, but also a new companion, Amy Pond, played by Karen Gillian. It's a very exciting story for Amy Pond. Um, she meets him as a little girl, um, and then he says he'll be back in five minutes and doesn't come back for 12 years. Um, and then she becomes a Doctor's companion, which is kind of what she wanted her whole life. Well, you can definitely expect the 11th hour to have all the best bits of the Doctor Who so far crammed into it, plus some little extras. It is all a bit balmy. So I asked the writer, Stephen Moffat, what inspired him for this crazy story. Doctor Who is always by me. Doctor Who is a, as the adventures of a man who lives in a telephone box that's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside and who can change his face and think that a bow tie is cool. Once you start at that level of barminess, you've got to ramp it up. Well, I may have seen the future, but I can't tell you exactly what happens because that would ruin it. But what I can tell you is the Doctor is thrown immediately into danger and then he's given only 20 minutes to save the world. But will he do it? Well, you have to tune in to find out. Thank you, Hayley. Right, let's get physical. Blue Peters.